Hey guys, we're back. The next balloon in our bracelet series is our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bracelet. Any fun? He's another one that kind of bobbles. All right, so here we go. This one is going to take a 260 for the base, and everything else is 160s, uh, except for his um, bandana up here. This is just a scrap of a 350. So I'm going to take my base balloon. We'll do it red. Doesn't matter. Twist off two ear twists. Then three inches across or so. Two more ear twists. And then back up and twist it in. Just like before, we're going to let the air out of here. Don't cut it off. Tie it off. Bring it to the other side and wrap it in. So there's our base. Then we're going to take a green 160. That I have somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and we're going to start with his legs. Just like on our bird balloon, we're going to start down here, up here, and then go down to over here. Okay, so we're going to start with a small ear twist. And then a loop twist for his foot. And then we're going to go up an inch or so. We're going to get this guy some knees. Just, just because he looks like, he looks fun with knees. So go up about an inch or so and do two small ear twists. Okay. And we're going to go up about the same distance. And we're going to do two more ear twists. This is going to be the base where the shell is going to come down and meet here. And then we're going to repeat the same going back down for the other leg. This the rest of this balloon, you can rip it off down here, but save it. Don't deflate it because you're going to need it. So rip that off. A little, little bit of air out. Tie it off. I mean, you can always just reinflate it too, but it's easier if you can rip it off and just keep that so you don't have to redo all that. Okay, so we've got his legs. We're going to attach his legs into the bottom of the bracelet. Yeah, it looks like I'm losing air in this bubble, so I'm just going to put the scrap in here and fix that. Get rid of that bubble that was that was leaking. Okay, we're back in business. All right, so here are his legs. And we're gonna add the top. This scrap that we have left, or you can start with another balloon if you like. We're going to do um, a loop. Make sure that this is big enough that you can fit this balloon through there. Okay. 
Alright, so we've got our loop. Do a small ear twist. Okay, and then we're going to feed that through. I'm going to start that part over. Okay, so with our green 160, we're going to make um, two small ear twists on the end. This is going to be for his head. Okay, and then we're going to make a loop. Make sure your loop is big enough that you can still slide another 160 through there. Okay, so this is where we're at. And we're going to take this and we're going to feed it through. I didn't make mine quite big enough. There we go. Now we got it. Sorry. Okay, now that this is through, we're just going to take the bottom of this. I'm going to wrap it back up into this bubble here. Okay, we're going to leave this attached and we're going to attach it down to his legs. Take up this extra piece. And this guy's going to be a little bit taller than my other one, but that's okay. Then we're going to take our brown 160. My balloons are falling off. Then we're going to take our brown 160. We're going to start at the top behind the behind the neck here, twist it in. Okay, we're going to bring it down here and twist it down to the base. And then we're going to go up and down and up and down and up and down until it looks like his shell is pretty full. I'm leaving the green bubble in the front. So I still, still see that he's underneath there. And I'm just going to take this extra off. Then we need to add his arms. So I'm going to use a scrap of a 160 green. I'm going to use um, a loop and a small ear twist. Small ear twist. These are really simple hands. I'm going to kind of squeeze the air down to the other side. And then I'm going to do a small bubble and a loop. Okay, so these are his arms. Find the center. Okay, and that's where we're going to we're going to wedgie this into um, in between here. So I like to twist that in half. And I'm gonna pull it behind his head under this bubble here and then just tuck it in the sides here so it looks like it's actually coming like I, like I threaded it through. Okay, once we've added his shell on, and we wedged his arms in there, then all we have to do is um, we're going to give him a scrap of the 350 for his bandana, draw on some artwork, and we're done. So if you don't have a scrap of a 350, you just take a new 350. When you cut this off, save the rest of it, then you have a scrap for the next one. Instead of wrapping it all the way around the head on both sides, more than likely it's going to slide off or the kid is going to pull it off. 
So um, I like to pull it just between here and tie it off on the side. Try to leave it laying flat on the front so you have more surface area to draw on. Tie it off on the side. I'll do this here. We're going to cut our excess off. Here's what he looks like. And all we have to do is add some artwork. You can use your white Sharpie. Um, this is an adding 750. You can use painter's medium. You can use whatever you like to use. So I'm just gonna draw on his little white eyes. And it does take a minute to dry. And then go back with your black marker. And color in his eyes. So here we go. Here's our original. And our new guy. You see the bigger one? The second one I made is quite a bit bigger. But that's okay. And here's our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle balloons. Hope you liked them. And they're bracelets, don't forget. Or watches, I guess boys don't like them to be called bracelets, so we'll call it a turtle watch. Thanks guys, see you later.